my soul doth magnify the Lord, and my, my spirit exalts in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly handmaid. Yes, from this yes. day forward, all generations shall call me blessed. For the Almighty has done great things for me. Holy is his name. His mercy reaches from age to age for those who fear him. He has shown the power of his arm. He has scattered the proud of heart. He, he has cast, cast down, down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things. The rich sent empty away. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. It's good of you to help, Mother, but I can handle this. So I see. I'm not going to apologize for what I feel. Is someone asking you to? I'm trying, Mother. I've asked God to help me. Anna. But this, this anger, it's churning in me all the time. And the hate, sometimes I can hardly breathe. What can I do? Pray for the grace to forgive. I try to pray, Mother. But I see them murdering him over and over. Why did God let that happen? He was doing God's work, helping the poor, and they butchered him. Why doesn't God punish those murderers and the men at the top who gave them the orders? I'm sorry. I, I wasn't thinking. It's all right. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich sent empty away. I've been thinking I... I shouldn't be here. What I feel, it poisons everyone. Anna, we love you. We want to help you. Please, let us. Twenty-three years I've been here. A lifetime. And now I wonder, am I doing what's best? Maybe God's work is outside. God's work is everywhere. And why are we in here where it's so safe? Where we always have food to eat and a roof to sleep under. God made all his children to live in peace, freedom, and justice with one another. Their dignity affirmed, their rights respected. This is what God wants, but this is not what God gets in some parts of our own country and in most of the rest of the world. Whenever any human being is denied the food, clothing, shelter, education, and job opportunities he needs to exercise his freedom and maintain his dignity, we have an immoral situation, a sinful one. Such a situation is intolerable. It must be changed. But how? In our own country, there are constitutionally guaranteed ways to challenge the status quo. The ballot box is the principal one of these. But what about those countries where there is an oppressive government and no way to petition for the redress of grievances? How bad do things have to get before revolution is justified? And how about violence? It only makes things worse. But what are the alternatives? How about grassroots organizations which aim at changing the consciousness of the people 
so that they become more aware of their own rights and dignity and organize themselves to protect them. And how about prayer? Has it any place in humanizing society? Certainly it has a beneficial effect on those who practice it. But what of those who don't? Can they be touched by prayer? <coughs> How many live here? Seven. Get the others. Sister Anna. Rookie, go with her. Telephones? Yes, in my office. Deliveries, visitors? Mail, twice a week. Sometimes a priest on Sundays. Carry him in. Easy, easy. All right, listen well. We're not here to hurt anybody. Just do as you're told, no trouble. You give us problems, and we'll do whatever is necessary. He's very young. Seventeen. He came to us when the soldiers beat his father to death. He's very brave, Fernando. How did it happen? The meeting of the farmers illegal. Fernando was on guard, and a company of us, Las Sodistas, attacked. Martin? I'm here, Fernando. La Playa. He promised that we go to La Playa right away. He's like horses. Oh, no. You're right. He's never seen the ocean. He needs a doctor. Obviously. But that's impossible. So we improvise. Oh, please, at least let me call Sister Juan at Guadalupe Hospital. She can be trusted. She'll bring medicine, plasma. No telephone calls. Just do what you can. This is so hot. Poor boy. Mother, do you think he's very beautiful? Yes, very beautiful, the way God made him. Beautiful instrument. You play well. I used to, sister, I used to. Better than I. Maybe it's your repertoire. All hymns sound alike. I try Soler, Giuliani, Bach. Very classical, but also very cloistered. Along with the Beatles, Joan Baez, Bob Dylan. I think if there's joy and beauty in it, God is pleased. On the other hand, would Karl Marx approve of Bach? <sighs> Music is a waste of time. I'm more comfortable with this. Will the soldiers be following you here? Yeah, 24 hours, maybe longer. We're very good at fooling them. Attack and disappear. Uh, you find that pointless, don't you? Futile. Don't you? Tactics, that's life. Deciding which tactics to use. Keeping the general's troops busy. We're good at that. Every time we blow up a bridge, a power plant, disrupt communications, we help the poor people, give them a surge of hope. We are the shock troops trying to jolt these Indian farmers out of four centuries of apathy. To do what? To rid this country of the exploiting fascists that killed Fernando's father. And now kill him too. We're praying for him. Prayer. Sister, you're not in the 12th century. Why don't you use the one life you've got to deal with the here and now? A life of prayer. From the outside, uh, the tactics one uses may seem outmoded, futile. 
But in reality... The life of prayer is the ultimate selfish denial. You really believe that? Prayer works wonders. In all the wrong ways. Governments like ours, a leader like General Lasorda, he has to keep the hungry, desperate people in line so the general approves of prayer. Don't try to put food in your children's mouths or find a better place to live. Just pray for a better life in the hereafter. Prayer doesn't matter. Oh, yes, little sister. Prayer works. It keeps the poor in their place and the general and the other parasites in theirs. Prayers are for changing things. It was meant to keep them just the way they are. And your way is more effective? It is. <laughs> I didn't want to believe that. I was going to change the world with an old typewriter and even older mimeograph. I was going to change governments, minds, history. It didn't work. It did for a while. But the generals, <laughs> they got upset. They beat up the people who were trying to hand out my words of wisdom. They arrested me and tried to influence my thinking. They broke my fingers, among other things. I was living in a dream, so I had to find an alternative. And of course, that's the only one available. Yours is better, prayer. Leaving it all to the tender mercies of God in the general. No, sister, I couldn't do that. I care too much. I care. Of course you do. About your own immortal, all important, but indiscernible soul. Not mine alone. Everyone's. Even the pigs who put the bullet holes in Fernando's body. Everyone. That's simple-minded or hypocritical. We've met before, haven't we? I don't think so. Well, your face is familiar. It's like a thousand others. I've seen it before. I... It'll come to me. You think only the soldier who fired the shot is responsible for Fernando's wounds? Of course not. General Lasorda and his regime. What about you? Don't you have any responsibility? Don't you give orders? Mm. I gave Fernando an order to protect someone else. A priest. One of your God's special people. Only this priest had gotten up off his knees and he was trying to get the people off theirs. Was he killed? Not this time. Thanks to Fernando. It's late. I have my duties. Don't let us disturb the holy routine, Mother. It helps keep the world at a distance. A tactic. Which to you seems pointless. Futile. system. It's hard to sleep. For me, it's hard to stay awake. The soldiers took the bait. Good. They're looking for us in Chacon. Oh, so we use the tide to hit the depot at San Mateo. Catch them completely off guard. Leave Fernando? The nuns will bury him. It's your decision. You know I don't want to leave him. We have no choice. Right. We'll get some rest. I'll take it over. There's coffee in the dining room. The man yields to the soldier.
You seem a sensible man. Which means you're going to ask me why I behave so stupidly? To make a life of killing, being killed. One thing in this world, we die. The question is, how do we give some little meaning to our death? But the boy, to die so young. Sister, half the children born in this country die before they're five. Their blood is on whose hands? And if you live past five, chances are very good you'll end up with TB. A slow death. But then, who cares? You're only another damn Indian anyway. God cares. But does he? Men have to do something. And if you're a woman, you pray. Some women. My wife, my young sister, while they pray, they teach. They try to make changes. It's hopeless. You have your tactics, I have mine. His hands are so cold. You should rest. Oh, I don't dare leave him. I've told God how much I care. He has to see that it's true. And if it's God's will to take Fernando. It isn't, I know. He's gonna live. He's going to smile and look at me and say my name, Felicita. That's all I ask, just to hear him say my name. I'll send you some breakfast. There's a little cemetery on the hill I'm having a grave dug. Fernando is still alive. You don't have time. You have much to do. And if it's God's will that the boy live? Then he'll join us. Where have I seen your face before, sister? After a certain age, all nuns look alike. <laughs> Tell me, do you always pray standing up? Not always. Often. Soldiers, two they jeeps. They double back. They're not, they're not the same. They look like General Special Guard. Do we ambush them? Yes. No, please. Don't shoot them. If they come here, I'll get rid of them. They won't suspect anything. All right. Brooke, get everybody else out. Remember, sister, you have as much to lose as we do. Carlos. Has the army come to occupy the convent? Oh, a friendly visit. May I come in, Alicia? You may. They'll remain outside. You haven't changed. The years become you. The other nuns? At prayer. You live so simply, only necessity. Like a soldier. Some soldiers. Are you really happy here? Really happy, Carlos. And you, is your life all you wanted? I'm going to be made a colonel. Your father, he relies on me more and more. How is Isabel? <laughs> she should be the happiest woman in the world. She works at it 24 hours a day. The last I heard, she was in Rio, but that was a week ago. You are still together. Oh, we're together. We will always be together. The church and your father will see to that. But we are never together. Alicia, how can twin sisters be so completely different? My father is well. The general, he is concerned for you. There are six million other people for whom he should be concerned. He wants you closer to him. I try to be close to him, Carlos. He wants me to remain his simple, unquestioning six-year-old. There are so many things I need to tell him, to share with him, but he won't listen. We plan on stepping up our operations against the guerrillas in this district. If the Marxists should seize this convent... Oh, why would they want this simple place? There are many young women here. 
There are many more young women on the outside. I'll speak plainly. If the gorilla should find out who you are and took you hostage... It could prove embarrassing for my father. We wish to spare you a distressing experience. Thank my father for his concern, Carlos. When the Archbishop tells me to leave this convent, I will do so, and only then. I told the General you'd take this position. I really should get to my sisters. You are as strong-willed as ever. You and Isabel have that in common. This isn't the end of it, Alicia. When I am told by an authority that I respect to leave, I will obey. He wants to protect you. By putting me in prison? Yes. Yes, sometimes I think he wants to put everyone in prison or grave. I want to help you, Carlos. I think God wants me to. But he cannot be reached. I miss seeing you. My love to my sister. Go with God. You handled it well, as the daughter of General Lasorda would. You should be more careful. You almost betrayed yourself. So, it was your twin sister's picture I've seen so often. Isabel Lasorda Rivera, a hundred children die of rickets, so beautiful Isabel can afford to have her breasts enlarged. You could be living the same life. God was kind. <laughs> we'll be leaving within the hour. You're coming with us. Leave me here where I belong. You're too valuable. My sisters depend on me. What we do here is important. Important? By hiding from the world? Because you're sickened and ashamed of what your father's doing? Praying for his sins, your guilt. You say you want to change the people. Rouse them to a better life. Make a better world. We're doing it. So are we. By your prayers. Yesterday, you said one of the reasons you do the things you do is to shock people into action, to give them a, a physical jolt of energy to help lift them out of despair. Well, we here are constantly drawing to ourselves the spiritual energy that gives life to the universe. God is the generator of all power. We are his conduits. Without that jolt, of spiritual energy. What you may do for these people will be meaningless. Don't shut us down. You don't understand. With you as a hostage, I could empty your father's jails. Now, if you love everybody as much as you say you do, you should be happy being used. I respected your tactics. Why can't you respect mine? Be ready to leave. Dear Lord, I'm afraid. I don't want to go with these men, but I do want to serve you, and I want to serve your people, especially the poor. I'm confused. Until now, you've had me do this through prayer. Are you now asking me to do this in a new way, as a hostage, a weapon against my own father? If this should mean loneliness or suffering, or death. If that's what you want, that's what I'll do. I know you can use these things to gain justice for your people. I know this, Lord, but I don't feel it right now. Take care of my sisters. Love us. Strengthen us. Keep us faithful to you. Jesus, you are all we have. You are all we need. I told you to get ready. I'm ready. Mother. You're going with them. I have to go. I have to try to do more. We can love the Lord wherever we are.
take care of yourselves. Pray for us. I'll be back as quickly as I can. Martin, you better come. I knew God wouldn't let him die. You don't get rid of me so easy, Martin. You've been playing games with us, trying to get attention. A pretty nurse. Felicita. We have to move on. The Arsenal, San Mateo. You'll be safe here. When you feel strong enough, you... I find you. I don't understand. God has restored a life, and you're angry. I don't like unexplained things. Oh, there's an explanation. You just have to accept it. Prayer. All right. I can respect your tactics, but I don't accept them. I'm grateful. We still take it with us? Of course. Again, the man yields to the soldier. <laughs>